You're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With Gianmarco Cerezi. What, like, what was it that really made you go like, oh, this is bullshit, dude? The religion? Yeah. Um, I think it was, well, there were different, it was a very layered, like, multi-step thing. Yeah. And I think ultimately it ended up being about realizing I'm not going to be able to stop being gay. That is obviously going to continue to happen. Um, I've tr- really given it, like, a good college try and it's not going to go. <laughs> it's not sticking. And that was part of it. But I do remember there was actually... Um, there was actually uh, like in in like middle school, I went to this this youth group session that I remember so vividly. That was one of my big awakening moments where I was like, "I'm gonna keep trying this, but this religion seems kind of fuck fucking made up." Was it what this girl in our youth group asked our youth pastor like, um, "What happens to somebody in a far corner of the world who has never been witnessed to, and doesn't know Jesus Christ and has never been saved?" What happens if they live their whole adult life having never heard about Christianity and they die? One of the classic, one of the classic questions. Yeah, like do that. They, do they go to hell? Yeah. And, and and our youth pastor was like, "Well, the Bible says that uh, because of the wind and the trees, you should know God, and that you should know Jesus is your Savior." And I'm just sitting there like, I wouldn't know that if I was <laughs> if, if no one ever talked to me about Jesus and I saw wind in the trees, I just I wouldn't be like. A man died on the cross. You know, I would not come up with this. Yeah. And it was so fucking crazy to me. And in that, in that same session, someone asked about suicide. I think a kid a couple of times over had committed suicide. So it was like a thing we had to have like a, a breakout session about. And and the fucking youth pastor guy was like, unfortunately, they are going to hell. And I was like, oh, like, <laughs> this seems really made up. That seems insane. They're like 15. You know what I mean? Like there was just there were conversations like that all along the way where I was like, this is not cool. And then, but you're so scared. It really is the fear. You're so scared of the eternal hell thing. What did you think hell was? Like in your mind, did you have a real picture? Like, yes. Burning in a lake of fire forever, every day. And you're just, you're floating in it? You're swimming? Are you just sitting? You're just screaming? And you're you screaming. see other people screaming? You're yes. just screaming. You're screaming. And pe- the, my, my vision of hell as a child was you are... It's like if if someone lit me on fire right now, the way I would scream and the pain that I would feel, that every day for eternity. I was like, that is hell. And, and do you see your you see your friends? Do you talk no, to them? You don't get or you to see just, you're just just screaming. Yeah, you don't get to see anybody. Did you're, you have a, a conception of what heaven was like? Like, did you see it? Was it just life? I think as a kid, I pictured it like you live in the clouds with everybody you've ever loved and everything is perfect and you get to like walk with God and you get to know God personally after all these years of like, just like trying to have a conversation, you know, you have these conversations, but you get to meet him Yeah, and you just live in bliss. Like everything's perfect. It's like your, I think it was described to us at one point as like the happiest you've ever been on earth, your very best day, like your birthday or whatever. The thing, the time you've been happiest and around all the people you love every second of uh, heaven is that. So I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Mm-hmm. And the fire things honestly sounds really weird and bad. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I, you know, it's, the goal is pretty clear. Whenever I see, uh, speaking of just the, the church and, and being gay, I see sometimes these Jesus depictions where he's looking good. He's hot. Where where he's hot, and I'm just like, and there's all this People stuff of like, I want to, but... I want to be with, uh, you know, the, to be embraced by my savior, and I'm just, and I'm looking at, geez, he has a six pack on the cross. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know where he fit it in. Yeah, but uh, there's just, a, I always am like, why is he so sexy? This feels homoerotic. Yeah, there seems to be something about you want to be with him. Yeah, that is just a strange mix to me. Well, it's 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 yeah, that's like the whole thing with cults is like. All of those like savior, like grand, like daddy type of like, it always morphs into weird sex shit. It's always about sex. It always comes to weird sex shit. The images, the relationship, the like, the, all the church scandals. I mean, like it, all of it is sexual because they're all so fucking weird and repressed, mm. and they don't talk about what's actually going on. What do you think about when like I love it? You know the 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 Vatican will like be like, okay, being gay is okay now. Like they they clearly they capitulate because they're like we're losing followers. Yeah, we'll loosen this a little bit. Yeah, we'll say okay, you're not gonna burn in hell for eternity. Five years if yeah. you're gay, then you can go to heaven. Like they they come up with all these ways to like kind of loosen it. Yes. Do you do you view it and do you just like burn it all to the ground? Are what do you, you mean? like like do you want do you want the religion? Would you be happy to have it just all disappear? No. 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 I, I don't think care. Some people. I think keep it. I what you know it does. I think it's necessary. I think so many people 
truly only get through life like average people. Like I think it's so important to it's important to a lot of people that I know and love. Mm. It it so many people really only get through life, which is horrible. Life is horrible. You know, there's so much shit going on that's bad that most people only get through life with that stuff. And I think that most people don't use it for bad. I think the average person really does not sit around and think about gay people or abortion or any. I think the average person who is not a fucking loon, like crazy weirdo just thinks of religion as like this back burner, like flow of energy. That's like, well, at least when this is all over, I have a nice thing. Yeah. And I think that generally is net positive. I agree. I think, I think some of sometimes with like the QAnon stuff, that that's like what ends up replacing religion. I think people need this narrative really yeah. badly in their life of good versus evil. Yeah. And like QAnon is kind of like, I feel like QAnon kind of rises because religion has kind of lost its steam in terms of how it tells you to live your life. So QAnon is like, well, there's these bad pedophiles and we have to get rid of them. Yeah. And so that's when I'm like, oh, well, maybe, maybe Christianity is not as bad if this is what's next. Yeah. It's kind of cult like thinking. Yeah, I think people have their crypto religions. Everyone has their thing that makes them. I think for some people, it's the entertainment industry. I think it's fucking conspiracy theories. It's political parties. It's what like like uh, super hardcore environmentalism. Mm. Like there, everyone finds something to attach themselves to and attach so much meaning to that it gets them through the day. And I think it's not all bad that some people's that version of that is a religion that has done a lot of bad. I think for a lot of people, they ha- they're in you know Christianity or Catholicism or whatever, and you know those institutions are weird. But overall, it just gets most people to like get out of bed in the morning. And I think okay, so we probably need that, or they will do a QAnon type thing, which is yes. insane. Now, can I can I ask about your? You, One, do you know two, your dad? Three, yes.